1999 Subaru Impreza Sport. So it's a Subaru Impreza Sport, two litre, non-turbo, this one estate, four-wheel drive with the low, low range switch on it. In silver. Body weight wise, we're gonna start off at the bonnet, work our way around the car. Nice and tidy at the bonnet. There's a few little stone chips here and there, but that's about all to be sort of concerned about there. Once it's got polish in a few places, but it's all nice and fresh in the silver. Headlights are nice and clear on the left hand side. Same on the right hand side, crystal clear there, nice and clean across the front bumper. A few little stone chips on the front end, no major scuffs or scrapes or on the bumper itself. On to the right hand side, same again, no big scuffs or scrapes, not a little stone chip here and there, but that's all to be worried about. It is a Subaru and Pet at the end of the day, it's sort of how you expect them, but nice and presentable across the front, they're normally a lot worse than that. On to the driver's front wing, again, nice and tidy. On the paint side of things, have a good look at the arch. No rust coming through the light and see there. Lovely and presentable up the front. A little bit of peel in the paint. It's obviously had some paint at some point, but it seems to be one shade of silver, which is a nice refreshing change on a 1999 Subaru. Nice and straight down the driver's door, lower half, all good. Work your way up the door, nice and tidy. No major dings or dents in the door itself. Not a little car park and dents here and there, but nice and Nice and tidy, tiny little bit of lap appeal at the back edge of the door. No major marking around the handle. Wing mirror caps are all okay as well. Across the lower half of the rear driver's door again, nice and tidy on the lower half. Not too bad as we work our way up the door, nice and straight, nice and shiny. Down the door itself, have a good look at that there. No major marking around the handle. Got a screw in that bit of trim there, it must have unclipped itself. We'll do this rear quarter, then we'll do the roof around the fuel caps, all okay. The arch itself, we'll go on the inside of the lip first, you can have a good look at that. These are where the rot normally is on these Subarus. This one, admittedly, you've got a tiny, tiny little bit in two little spots there. Tiny bit there and a tiny bit there. And another tiny little bit just starting there, but not rotten by a long way. You've seen the arch lip as well, so you can have a good look at what's coming through. Rear windows are all okay, rear lights. Seem to be crack free. The bumper is scuffed free, although it's had some paint with it at some point on that bumper corner. You can notice that. And on the right hand, left hand side, again, you got a bit of a scuff. It's had two bumper corners painted at some point. The rest of the bumper got a little bit of crazy in the middle bit. A little bit of crazy in here. In the same sort of spot on the top half of the rear bumper. Up onto the tailgate, nice and tidy. Looks okay around the spoiler as well. Around the barges is all alright. No signs of rot. Nice and tidy across the spoiler, no lack of peel on that. And the top spoiler as well is all good. Across the roof, all nice and straight. You can have a good look at that there. A few little bits of bird poo and tree sap marks, very, very lightly burning the lacquer there. But apart from that, all nice and presentable across the roof. As you come down that left hand rear quarter, again, nice and straight down the rear quarter. We've got a few little bits just starting on the rear arch there. The camera's clearly picking those up on the left hand side. And again, once we get down to the bottom, I'll do some dodgy camera work and have a good look at that lip there. So you can have a look, see where it's starting, where it's finishing. Nice and tidy across the rest of the quarter as we come down onto that left hand rear door. A few light scratches in the paintwork here. The door's a little bit flat in places, but all in all, nice and presentable, nice and tidy. Down the door itself, lower half's all okay across the passenger side as we work our way up onto the passenger front door, no major marks again around the handle, the windstrips are all okay, not rotten that's for sure, little scuff on this wing mirror cap, but all nice and presentable down the left hand side, onto the front wheel arch now, again nice and slow and steady around that wheel arch, have a good look at that there, got a little bit of a part and dent and a slight little scuff here that goes onto the bumper, you can clearly see that, and all in all, no signs of crows of that, and see, nice and presentable, nice and straight down the left hand side. Onto the interior now, cloth seats in this one. It's a two litre non turbo. Door car itself, nice and tidy. No rips or tears, a little bit of wear to the handle. No major wear around the electric window switches. The seat itself is all okay. Nice and tidy, no rips or tears to the bolster. You've got your impressa mats with a grey carpet underneath doing their job there, nice and straight. Across the front there, all nice and tidy. No aftermarket parts in there. You've got your little cubby box all working on the centre console, original head unit all still in there, five speed manual, that's for your low, you can see that's for the low range on the box, armrests all good, 
styles are nice and clear, nice and tidy across there. As we go onto the headline and again, lovely and clean across the headline as well. Past, uh, drivers rear, again, door cards, nice and tidy, no rips or tears, no unwanted marks, no real wear to the handle either. Rear seats, they want a little bit of a clean, there's a few little marks on them, but there's no rips or tears, showing minimal wear whatsoever really to the rear seats. Rear carpet sets all nice with the matching over mats all the way through. And again, headline and lovely and clear from the rear. Into the boot now. All nice and tidy. The rams are nice and strong, which is, makes a change. Parcel shelves are still there in nice condition. Little bit of wear to the boot carpet. You can see it's sort of got a little bit thin in places. Sort of like the top of my James's head of his old age, starting to thin out a little bit in places. He hasn't heard that, but when he watches this video, he'll not be very happy about that one there. Into the boot floor now, but a dodgy camera went while I lift that up. All okay in there, got a few little side vents, I don't know where they're from. As we go into the rear left, again, door cards nice and tidy, nice and presentable, no rips or tears, no major wear to the handle at all around the electric window switches. And again, the seat themselves, nice and clean and tidy, not showing much wear at all. A few little marks on them, but all okay. Headlining from the left hand side. And then onto the passenger front. Again, door cards nice and tidy. No problems at all with that. All the cloth work's not sagging anywhere on the door cards. Minimal wear to the seat on the front left. Have a good look at that bolster there, all nice and straight down the bolster. You've got your over mat again, matching over mats throughout, doing a job protecting that carpet underneath. Dashboard's nice and straight from the left hand side. You will hear that I've had this running the whole time. I pulled it in this morning. We've had the battery on charge, it seems to be flat, it doesn't want to hold any charge. Bear in mind, this is going to need a battery. In all fairness, fairness the alternator seems to be working, because if you do leave it for a while, it will restart, but overnight it will lose all charge on that battery. So I've had it running, it starts on the button with a jump pack. No one wanted noises at all from the engine bay there. Once a little few clips putting in the cloth underneath, but all in all, nice and straight, nice tidy, 1999 Subaru, Sport, 2 litre non-turbo estate manual that one.